Do you have an address for the record, please? Yes, Loretta and Titus, 24 Sylvania Street, Pike section of Oaks Ferry. I live at 24 and across the street from me, what was an 11 stall garage has deteriorated to the point where the doors are caved, the roof is caved in, uh, there are abandoned cars inside, garbage, all kind of litter. Uh, I've reported this over the many years and in March I contacted Councilwoman LaBelle. She came to my home, took pictures. In April we had the code enforcement and the health department come up, they looked at it. I was told a letter was sent to the owner and the letter was refused. Uh, that was in April, May, supposedly, this was issue was referred to uh, magistrate's office and I have heard nothing since. And the uh, only thing that comes to mind, the magistrate, I'm wondering if he recused himself because he does live on the same street as the property owners. I'm not accusing anybody. Uh, possibly it's fallen through the cracks. <coughs> so I've been looking at this decrepit building for years and years and years. Cats go in, you get damp weather, the stench, and I'm just tired of looking at it. So, And I appreciate Council Nuna Lavelle's effort on this. And I thank you for hearing this. Mrs. Edekaitis. Yes. We have been working on it. I'm told that it is at the magistrates, but you did bring up a very good point there. Um, maybe it has to go and check on it and see where we are yeah, on the um, magistrate. Yeah, you know, I talked with Mike Simons and the building code official uh, even today about this, um, and we are still waiting for a hearing to be scheduled by uh, the magistrate. Uh, we have not been informed that he uh, is required to refuse himself. Yeah. Um, it's just a backlog in the you know the court system. You know, we make recommendations all the time to try to expedite things, but we're really just waiting for that hearing to be scheduled uh, before we can advance this. But <coughs> certainly I understand your frustration, and the mayor and our, we're as anxious to act upon our violation of standing up. So um, we'll keep in touch with you and see that hearing is scheduled. You know, we'll let you know when that is if you want to do it then. Um, but uh, I think that's. I'd like to attend well, until you let me know. Well, the other thing is, it is four months, so I think somewhere along the line we have to get this taken care of. The magistrate has to move forward or somebody has to do something because she can't continue with the way she's going. I mean, it's just that nobody should have to look at what I've been facing over the years. And, I, and I'm very frustrated and that's why I'm before council. And I thank you for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.